Shai. Hey, Nubia. I have a question from Justin. You said that if a melody sometimes go high, you will pick a low key, and that if it goes low, you will pick a high key. Can you give some examples? Yeah, Justin, sure I can. Now, before I do, you know, I want to say it takes a while. I mean, I'm still in the process. It takes a while to really learn to know your voice and know uh, the challenges of your voice as well as the, the divine qualities of your voice, or maybe they're the same. And, and also to know about different keys and how different keys resonate and feel, etc., etc., etc. So this is not something that actually is very easy to explain. But I'll try to give some examples. Like, I have a song on my Kirtan album. Shri Krishna Govinda Hare Murare He Nata Narayana Vasudeva So in the scale, I'm singing there in D, it, it sits around the tonic around it is a little low so I first tried to play that song in G but it sounded more like this it was Shri Krishna Govinda Hare Murare Narayana but you know that was way too low I couldn't get comfortable, so I found a higher key in which to sing that melody. Conversely, like a song Namaha Parvati Pate Hara Hara Namashivaya. You know, that's a, that's at the high end of the scale. So if, if I was going to sing that song in, say, G, I'll try that. No, that was in E minor. Say if I was going to do it in G. Well, it's way too high. I mean, I could, I could sing it like that at the climax of a song or something, but to maintain that through a whole song would be just way too high for me. So instead of singing it in G, I sing it in E. That's basically the short form answer to your question, but it, but behind it really is a lot of years of practicing and studying. I hope this helps.